Let's take a look down under with this week's Fish Eye View, sponsored by Mercury, number one on the water. For most of us, time on the water is a precious commodity. Tournament anglers understand this better than anyone. For them, every moment, every cast counts. Here are a few thoughts on the matter. Mapping out all the high percentage spots is first and foremost before the big day. Once at these locations, they exclusively work the very best parts of potential structure and cover. Toss in, reel out quickly, and toss again. It's all about keeping a bait in the strike zone for as long as possible. Nothing is more wasteful than reeling all the way back to the boat through dead water, as many of us do. In any lake or river, fish occupy less than 5% of that water body. Having a plan of attack is also important. Rather than fumbling through a suitcase of choices, lay out a dozen or so favorite go-to baits. To save more time, set up as many rods as possible to minimize retying. And think ahead. Imagine the casts that could have been made while dealing with a painted jig eye. Even if you're anticipating a relaxing day, a bit of preparation and planning will make any outing more rewarding. Save a minute here and a minute there. It all adds up to more fish. And who knows, that one extra cast just might put you into something truly special. The intellect of different fish is a matter of opinion. Brown trout and bass are considered smartest, while panfish and brook trout are often labeled suicide fish. Just the same, there's a theory afoot the IQ of all species is on the rise. With so many anglers out there doing the same things, little wonder fish are becoming picky. Rather than escalating intelligence, it's really a matter of negative conditioning to the presence of man. In many places, the sound of an outboard motor, even an electric, is a signal to stop feeding. Talking is another turnoff. Recorded inside an underwater housing, listen to this. Be quiet or they'll hear you is very good advice. To beat fish at their own game, think outside the box. Study the habits of other anglers, then do things differently. Paddle in quietly or let the wind move you into position. Even better, get out and walk the shoreline wherever possible and make a point of fishing places others pass by. Don't be afraid of getting right into those tight spots. Many different things add up to a successful day on the water. Being at the right place at the right time is high on the list. So too is being fully prepared with a good assortment of baits and proper tackle for the job. Doing your homework really does pay off. With all this going for them, some anglers still manage to miss out on big opportunities. Just as it is in golf, there's a state of mind that leads to success. The biggest component of this is confidence. Most of us have favorite lures, rods, and lines which boost confidence. Out on the water, believing that every cast will bring a strike means you'll fish harder with full and undivided attention. On the other hand, as soon as you become distracted and lose focus, it's easy to miss those light bites. Fact is, many fish initially taste test a potential meal before committing to eat it. When bothered by panfish and small fry, most of us unwittingly move on. Having the confidence to continue working the same location pays off in the long run. Finally, when you do get a hit and miss on the hook set, resist the temptation to reel in empty-handed only to make another cast which may be off the mark. Instead, exhibit confidence by keeping that bait in the zone.